Hello everyone, this is Shahul, co-founder, CEO of Memoni, the line-by-line -line NCRT app, uh, first ever built in India. So it has 15,000 plus questions from need biology taken from each and every line of NCRT. Um, and uh, please check out Memoni. And coming to the topic of today, so we're going to talk about how to avoid negative markings in the NEET UG exam so uh, when you when you're starting to prepare for neat exam uh, the most important thing that you should be doing is uh, you should be able to balance the positive and the negative aspects of the neat exam right so sometimes you have to concentrate on the positive things uh, so that uh, your depression or overthinking might reduce okay and sometimes you should also focus on fixing the negative aspects of the neat exam so that that will actually simultaneously you know help you reduce the negative part as well so it depends on the situation but you should focus on both like being over positive but also be a problem because you might end up being overconfident being very negative will also get you into depression not able to uh, help you provide your 100% in your NEET exam, right? So for all the NEET students, as I've seen in my all videos, like it is important to revise. If you're just going to complete the syllabus and appear for the NEET exam, just forget the idea of uh, getting into a medical college because no one who hasn't done enough revision is going to make into the NEET exam, okay? So why do we have to do a lot of revision? The first thing is to remember and understand the concept. See, like you might not understand a concept while you read it the first time, but as much as you read it again and again, you might understand it. So the first thing is to remember and understand the concept. The second thing is to prevent negative marks, right? Like because at the end of the exam, like at the uh, while you're writing the exam, you might get confused of certain questions and uh, the concepts that you know also might go wrong, right? So that will get you into getting some negative marks which are unnecessary you might have got a four instead you got minus one which brings you five marks lesser than what you should have got okay so until now you may have revised the ncrt for the sake of retaining information in your mind uh spending quality time to focus more on revision is more important right so that that's more important as well and and the second reason like you should you you would have thought of retaining the information but please remember that it also helps you to uh in a very good thing where it will help you avoid negative marks it's not just you making marks it's also you losing marks because uh only when you revise you will understand what you know and what you don't know and what questions to skip if you don't know right you can get you can prevent getting a negative mark okay so every year we know that the competition is increasing lakhs of students are approaching the neat exam and uh, cracking the neat and bagging a seat in a prestigious college like ames delhi is always neat aspirants dream so don't ignore in tiny details and inputs right so negative marks might seem like a small thing to you right now all of us will be only focusing on complete the syllabus complete the syllabus but um don't ignore your focus on tiny inputs as well okay so negative marking is always the same way four marks are allotted if you get the right answer one mark is sub subtracted if you get the wrong answer okay after like this is the way you should do the uh, exam right after studying thoroughly uh, regarding a topic also you might end up marking wrong answer so how to avoid that okay don't the first thing you should be doing is don't panic don't overthink or don't be overconfident as well. Most of the time you'll be like, you don't even read a question properly. You will just come, you are so confident that you thought, oh, I have read this topic very well. So I'm just going to mark this answer. So that will lead you to make some silly mistakes, which will really bother you when you come out of the examination hall. Okay. So like you could even digest the question that you got wrong that you didn't study right but if uh, you studied the topic very well and out of overconfidence you marked uh, you made a silly mistake and got negative marks that will be very hard to digest so please don't do that and also when you look at a question and you see that there is something twisted in the question you know that it's not a straightforward question 
but sometimes our brain will not accept the fact it will try to convince us that hey this is a direct question i'm going to mark this answer so if you think that it's a complex question you need to accept the fact that it is complex and you need to think about it once or twice before marking an answer so don't assume complex questions to be basic questions and don't assume basic questions to be complex questions so you start you will start assuming basic questions uh, as complex questions when you have overconfidence probably and you will start uh, assuming complex questions and uh, sorry basic questions as co- uh, complex questions if you have overthinking if you ha- you will uh, you will start thinking complex questions as easy questions when you are overconfident so don't be both uh, be be neutral and give as equal importance for all the question whether you know or don't know like just think twice before marking the answer so there are some ways i would say like three ways to reduce you know this panicking or to this avoiding this overthinking or overconfidence okay so the lack of confidence right this overthinking uh thing like or l- being less confident in answering questions so this is because you don't have faith in your uh, hard work right you should always be ready to accept failure as much as you are ready to accept your success right after receiving the question paper sometimes you get panicking uh, you might think that the hard work and the time and the result all would think will not you know produce the result so there's nothing that hard work doesn't produce result it might get late but hard work will definitely reap the benefits if not in the form of need your knowledge or the effort that you put is going to reward you in some way so that's how the universe is built okay so to avoid such thoughts that uh, lowers your confidence so fear of you know scoring less marks is uh, or fear of not qualifying the exam is the biggest enemy that will actually reduce can reduce around 10 to 20% of your total marks like even if you didn't prepare really well if you have fear of scoring less marks you're going to really get low so don't be that and then overthinking about questions and wasting time see all the students try to attempt all the questions right with excitement to score everyone wants to score 720 right so spending more time and about same question just because you want to score very high like 720 when you have the least knowledge you know you haven't prepared for that so that uh, greediness should be avoided so in that case you will get no time or less time for the questions that you know how to answer so you will end up making silly mistakes so overthinking about questions and wasting time the first thing don't fear for scoring less marks second thing is overthinking about questions and wasting time you need to avoid that remember that the neat paper comes with negative mark tallies so always revise your topics to reduce negative marks so doubtful guesses unfamiliar questions like a b c d like inky pinky ponky <laughs> don't do that like it's not it's not something meant for neat the probability that you will get a right answer for each question having four option is only 25% so make sure you know the question before you write because a b c d is not going to work definitely anything mark anything bubble anything that's not going to work okay 30% of the students always adopt adapt to the elimination process for unfamiliar options so follow logical steps to make uh remove these things like if you're going to remove an option you need to have a valid reason behind that right if you see mcq you see four options you're going to remove an option you're going to think oh this option will mm-hmm. never be the answer why you need to answer that why okay then remove it don't follow illogical steps to remove the options because you'd end up removing the answer itself if you don't have a reason why you're going to eliminate it okay then concentrate always uh, concentrate during the exam so this comes when you when you write full portion tests or full exam uh, mock tests right like as uh, like need exam and uh, also you got to understand when i talk about concentration uh, if you lose concentration you will be overconfident and mark the answer that you know and there are also a lot of hell a lot of cases where uh, people bubble the wrong circle they know that the answer is a the first option and they still bubble b or the second option right and don't do guesswork and predictions that's never going to work okay nobody can guess answers mark something and 
get get to the best mark okay so although you have studied every topic you will head to increasing advanced knowledge studying new and revising old may not uh, cannot fall in one place so revision is a crucial factor that decides your quality preparation so don't keep reading new and new and new so that's will, that will actually burden you so these are other things i want to talk about these three steps you should if you study study all the topic and increase advanced knowledge, knowledge of them you might forget some basic stuff so always understand that neat is uh something that comes from the syllabus right at least the biology and the chemistry section i'd not say physics physics requires practice and even physics too like don't read something advanced level of problems that will actually get you to remember the basics uh, get you not to remember the basic stuff uh, but also you can use or gauge your revision with some smart work for neat biology you can use memo neat app like whichever app like i don't know i don't i didn't see any app that is, that helps you to do smart work for revision because this app is actually created questions cre- has questions created and taken from every line of ncrt and you can do revisions at your fingertips like anytime anywhere you want and this is actually real mtg uh, ncrt fingertips uh, i would say because uh, you can't carry your book everywhere you might forget but you carry your mobile phone everywhere and uh, interactive questions you know it's not just you marking a b c d like memonite has some interactive questions where you know you have fill ups drag and drop and assertive and reasoning questions and a lot of questions right which will help you to read in the keywords of the answer and also one thing that mtg ncrt fingertips could never give is a repeated reminders to learn the questions that you have made mistakes on yes so memory has a seven level memory technique where it takes you to remember one question from basic short term memory to long term memory where you wouldn't forget it so you will revise like one question a minimum of seven times if you get it right so just imagine if you get it wrong you will definitely uh, uh, be Uh, be practicing it again and again until you remember it so that's how memory tap is built like even if you know the answer you practice seven times minimum if you get it wrong like don't know the answer you have to practice like more than 20 or 30 times to get it into your mind so that's how memory tap is built and uh, um last thing i want you to um a uh, thing is a lot of students say hey i'm i want to avoid social media but remember in the era like this like you got to do some smart work so you can avoid social media but don't avoid the utility or advantage of mobile technology you can use apps like memonite because they are also fun they help you learning they will help you focus and also you get you get to change the game from others right whoever is following the books like you could be faster and more efficient than that than them in revising so things to follow while marking the answer so i'll just end this video with this so avoid stressing over a particular question like if you don't know the answer just move on like don't stress on it then you might mark the wrong answer and stop wasting time more than required like don't waste more time so that's the second point on one single question be confident and don't be overconfident avoid unsure guesswork so if you do these four points and be hydrated and healthy then i guess you will not get even a single negative mark uh, in the neat 2022 or 2023 exam uh, like whichever we are fo- you are focusing for thank you if you like my video please subscribe like and share this video and help this channel grow so that i could make more videos about useful things about neat which could help you get more marks uh, thank you and have a great day